Hey guys, Maris at KitchenTableStamper.com. I've got a really quick, fun Halloween treat for you. I'm making about 30 of these for my son's classroom for the kids and for the room moms and thought I'd make a quick video and share. All right, this started out, um, I was looking for something to make for the classroom and I found these adorable little candy kettles on Amazon. I'll put a source link in. They are just the perfect size for some uh, typical Halloween treats and they fit nicely into this um, three by six gusseted bag. All right, the Stampin' Up! supplies that you'll need to make these little candy kettle treats are Stampin' Up!'s brand new Creep It Royal. We're gonna use a little witch image here and pick a pumpkin. We're gonna use this little jack-o'-lantern face from Pick a Pumpkin. I'm also using Stampin' Up's new, brand new burlap background. This is new in the annual catalog. Um, these two are new in the holiday catalog. For my die cutting and punching, I'm using the brand new Everyday Label Punch on my Eastern Palace Designer Series paper. I've got my bouquet bunch framelits. That's where this bitty little tag comes from. Isn't that adorable? and stitched shapes, we're gonna use the smallest circle. I also used my Baker's Box Thinlets die, and I used this pinking circle from the Baker's Box. The Baker's Box is retired, so you are welcome to grab your layering circles and use something there if you like. My Stampin' Pads for this project are Fresh Fig and Basic Black, and you'll need a Basic Black marker, a Lemon Lime Twist marker, and a blender pen. My consumable supplies here are some fresh fig cardstock, and um, I don't have the measurement for this on me, but there is a project sheet on the blog. I'll link it below, I promise. Um, I used a scrap of the Eastern Palace Designer Series paper and punched it with the uh, everyday labels. I cut a piece of watercolor paper with the smallest stitched circle, basic black, is cut with that pinking circle and pumpkin pie for the little tag. All the measurements will be on the project sheet on the blog. Like I said, I'm doing this for the kids class, so this is just a quick video. Um, this is the thick basic black baker's twine and we've got a length of that also. All right, let's get started with our stamping. We're gonna do the background first and I've got that burlap background stamp and fresh fig ink. We're going to go ahead and ink up the center of this burlap and then we'll drop our little fresh fig bag topper right on top of the burlap. Got a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to take my block and just make pressure here so we get a nice impression on that bag topper. Lift and there we go. Isn't that fantastic? This stamp comes in so handy. All right, then we've got our little tiny pumpkin pie tag in our watercolor circle, basic black ink, and I've got my little witch. We'll stamp her with basic black. And then I've got my little pumpkin face, and he is just notorious for falling off. I love the index. In fact, I need it when I'm stamping, and this just came up on Facebook um, with a friend. Did you know that you can put the indexes on your Stampin' Up! stamps, and if you just touch them with the tiniest bit of chapstick, anything you got will do, and then put it on the block. It sticks every time and you don't always have to even reapply. It just will keep on going, and you can just keep on stamping once you've done it. All right, so there's our little jack-o'-lantern face. Okay, I've got some different classroom safe candies here. I'm gonna put them in the kettle. There we go, I think that looks nice. And we'll take the little gusseted bag and open it up. And what I want to do is with the very edge of the gusset here, I'm going to take my tear and tape and put it along 
the very bottom of the bag. And this will help the bag sit flat. So then I'll peel off the release and reach into the bag. And I'm just going to fold the bottom of that down and press to seal. Then I'll put my cauldron inside the bag. Ha, what a cutie. Oh my gosh, I just love it. What do you think? Don't you just love it? Okay, then with either a little stapler or a big stapler, doesn't matter, we're gonna staple our bag topper on. So, got my bone folder. Let's get a good crease on that. Determine which side's the front. I like this one. Put the little topper inside and staple. Be sure that you staple through the bag. All right. Then we're gonna wrap with some black baker's twine. This nice thick stuff. So I wrapped completely around and tied a knot. Then we're gonna go in through the back of the tag, make sure you got all the layers of the twine, and we're going to tie a bow. I'm going to trim the tails on the bow and let's color our little witch now. I've got an acrylic block here and my markers, lemon lime twist. I'm just going to scribble some under the block and pick it up with my blender pen. And I'm starting up at her forehead where the hat might cast a shadow on her face and putting in a couple of layers of color because I want to have a little shadow there. And then I'll move down and color the rest of her face. Get my scratch paper in here, clean away the green. Nice part about the watercolor papers, it's pretty forgiving, so got out of the lines a little there. With a clean blender tip, you can get any of the um, color that might have seeped out with the lines. Now that's basic black and we're going to pick up the basic black and go down kind of the left side of her hat and we're going to fill in and then pick up some more. And what we want to do is build in a shadow here and keep picking up some more black and build that shadow. And when you've got that shadow built in, you can remove a little bit of the color and blend. Looking pretty good. I like our little witchy. All right, time to assemble this project. So our little pinking edge circle and our witch, they get attached together with a Stampin' Dimensional centered. Then we're going to put some Stampin' Dimensional on the back of our tag here. But this is where I'm going to get a little wild and I'm going to use some of the edge pieces of my Stampin' Dimensional. So I really want this to be nice and secure. So I'm going to go with these little lines here. There, lots of sticky. These are going to get handled and by kids. So. I want them to go home with something cute. All right, so we've got our little label and the dimensional adhesive. We wanna center that right up against the tag. Center it left to right and top to bottom. And then we're gonna add our little witch face with some multi-purpose liquid glue. Aren't these adorable and fast too? All right, 
buzzbykitchentablestamper.com for the printable project sheet with the measurements. The source link is below the video and so is the project sheet or the link to the project sheet if you're watching on YouTube. If you've got any questions about this project, you can email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.